So if you're familiar with app images, you know that one app is one file. For example, I have Audacity 205 here and if I click it, the application is launched and gets executed. This is what happens now. And we can see that Audacity 205 is running here. So how do I update an app image? Well, thanks to KDE service menus, this is really easy. I do a right click on the app image, go to actions and then update. Now forgive me for this ugly interface, this is just a proof of concept, but what's happening now is that it has updated Audacity and I can see in addition to this one, a new one, Audacity 212. Well, let's do a right click again, actions, make executable and let's run it and let's see what happens. Audacity is launching again and once it's launched we can verify that it is indeed 2.1.2. Now notice how fast all of this happened. Audacity, the app image is, let's see, 18.6 megabytes in size. Yeah, almost 20 megabytes. But still, this was very fast to update. Why is this? Well, because we did a binary delta update, which downloaded just the bytes that actually have changed between 205 and 212. So, really cool. If you want to try this out today, you can go to the GitHub project Pro Bono PD App Image Kit and check out issue number 169. You will find all the necessary information here right in this ticket. Stay tuned, of course we want to make this really nice and really easy to install and use and be assured this will get a nice user interface and please let me know what you think about this idea.